we have some great guests on today. It's the first time that we have two guests on at the same time because they're a couple and they're great together and you're going to love them. So uh, Michelle was fantastic enough to... Um, to post about them yesterday and post a video. It's one of, I think it's actually the video of how I found them, um, where uh, I don't want to, I don't want to say too much. I hope you saw it, but uh, I think we're going to show it uh, again. Um, so here's a little bit about them. Uh, Hope and Kadero Watson are known as relationship champions on social media. They share a bond of friendship for over two decades. Their romantic journey started 18 years ago, and they've been married for 14 years. They met in middle school, you guys. I love it. During the pandemic, they created their lifestyle brand every day with H&K to inspire healthy relationships with love and laughter. And I think we're going to show a video. Are we showing it, Shell? She's... Yeah! Keep that, keep that. Can you do this? Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. See that? It's gonna take a lot more than this to keep this up. <laughs> Don't break my arm. Don't break my arm. How do I not do that? <laughs> Don't put a hole in the wall. I'm not. Don't put so much moving. pressure on. Huh? Wall moving it? No, we need something with a stud. Mm. This is good. That's good? This is good. Oh, we gotta, we gotta get him. Oh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> There's a lot of confidence in your eyes that I saw. Yeah. I just... <laughs> keep that, keep that. <laughs> Keep that, keep that. Yeah. One more time. One more time. One more time. We got this. Keep that, keep that. How did he say? Keep that, keep that. Keep that, keep that. Keep that, keep that. Keep me over there. Keep me over there. Just not gonna happen. It's okay. We tried. We tried. We gave it the best that we had. I guess our best wasn't good enough. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the show Hope and Cadero. Hi, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Oh. You got applause and everything Thank on the show. I love that. You guys are the best. I'm so excited to have you on the show. Let me just see if I can change this now. It cuts off hope. Okay. So I'm so excited. I'm such fans of you. That video was amazing. Hope when you were like, we're going to need to find a stud. I was Absolutely. like, that is so me right now. Like, we're going to break this wall. <laughs> so funny. So tell everybody. So you met in middle school. You weren't dating during your high school years. It came later. Tell me all about it. Oh, oh we want to save you all those pleasant things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a long time. Yeah. So we actually knew of each other in middle school, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Well, he knew of me. I didn't quite know who he was, of course. Mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. but, I'm saying, he, um, but then we had mutual friends in like a, the same kind of circle. So we kind of knew of each other. But it wasn't until theater class, my sophomore year, his freshman year, that we actually met in high school. Um, and there's a whole lot of stuff. Where we dated for a month. Yeah. We both broke up because we both wanted to date somebody, somebody else. else. Okay. Stalker involved. So I took her to homecoming yeah. to help. It, and yeah. all those type of things. All those type of things. <laughs> but then we finally, um, we had a couple friends. Well, they weren't a couple at the time, but we had some friends that wanted to get together. And so it was my best friend and his friend. And so we kind of hooked them up. And in that moment, we started talking again yeah. after our breakup. So it was um, my senior year, right? Your junior Your senior, year. Yeah. And uh in between, like we still kept in contact and all of that stuff, but it wasn't until after I graduated that I was like, "Hey, you know, I need a lunch date, and so let's just randomly call you up. Call you up. <laughs> I'm hungry, so I'm you want hungry. to take me out? I was always hungry, so I was like, <laughs> well, what are you doing?' And so we went to TGIF, well, Friday. TGIF Fridays, yeah, yeah. and um, yeah, the rest is history. Since yeah. then, it's been so much. So we've been together since oh. Five, five. yeah, yeah. Wow. And still, five and still just goofy as ever 
do you do you ever look at like pictures from like that long ago and be like one day i'm gonna try to flip over your arm <laughs> and that will be our life people will know us <sighs> I knew that there was going to be fun involved, but I didn't know to what extent, right? Because we're just naturally around each other, at least. Like in public, I'm, I'm not goofy like that. <laughs> but like in public, but like in private, we're just goofy. So we yeah. figured it was going to be some sort of fun, but never thought I'd be flipping over yeah. his arm. I love the, thing is, the people who know us and they see it, they be like, that's them. That's yeah, always really. them. Like, yeah. just goofy. Yeah, so yeah. fun, so fun. So what made you guys go from like having this kind of wonderful relationship privately, you know, to saying, you know what? <laughs> well, the videos are so funny because I, when I saw it, you know, everybody that's watching has seen those videos where somebody is, a guy is on the ground and the girl's got one, everybody's seen it. And you're like, I hate that. Yes. What? Right. So when you when it came through, because all of your most of your videos will start with that. Right. I'm like, look at this crap again. And then all of a sudden you two show up. I'm like, what is here we go? <laughs> How did this start? What are you from? Because it's in every video. Why? No, it's, it was one of those things. Like like you said, everybody see those those people that just yeah. like a certain look to them. me like oh, yeah. just you guys. And so for everything's us, perfect. Everything's right? perfect. Yeah. yeah, we're so not that. And we know that most people on the Internet is not like that. So they look like us, build like us. We don't have all the muscles and tone. Abs. And so abs, yeah. Abs. 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 Yeah. Huh? What are those? <laughs> so it's like. I think people get a kick out of just seem like regular people trying to do the stuff. And yeah. then we had this commentary and we try to sing the songs while we're doing it. And then we just, we try to give it that confidence. So this was like the confidence, like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. we got this. We got it. Yeah, it's so <laughs> funny that you say you sing the song because last night I was going back through your feed to get ready for today. And there's <laughs> there's one <laughs> where, where Katera, you're on the floor, Hope gets on top, and it's like a ball, right? And you're supposed to do this. And then she's, but, and it's the funniest thing to watch because you don't roll. You're not rolling. No, but, not but that was the first time that I realized that you guys were singing the songs too. And I was like, they, they can't even get on a roll. Like, da, da, da. No. No. Da, da, da. no. It was no. so You'll never hear the full verse ever. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny because I saw your videos and my son is at home. And I was like, I'm going to make Dean. I'm I'm going to, I'm going to try to do what, what Hope and Kadero and my son will be like, I can't even lift. Do you know how big you, like, just, it's just so stupid. It's just, I just love it because I think that besides being funny, I think, uh, you know, people will call you relationship champions and, you know, why do you, why do you think it was so important? Because did you guys launch during the pandemic as well? We did. We did. We did. So like, yeah, we launched in 2020 and it was out of pure boredom. Like we were both at home at the point at that time. And it was something that we were looking through TikToks and we we're like, oh, we can do some of these dance moves. Like we can do some of this. So literally, yeah, so literally. I can do that. Yeah, no, we can't. No, we can't. <laughs> so I was like, okay, so this seems fun. So we needed something to pass time because we had just been staring at each other like all day. And so I was like, okay, well, let's do some TikToks. And so we were looking at it and we were like, ah, yeah, that's funny. And we're like, post. And so then the more we started posting, the more we started gaining momentum. And we were like, okay, like this may be something. Yeah. And I think it was, you know, we started seeing some brand deals come in our emails. We we're like, oh, we can make money just They're, doing Right, for this? us, we don't come from that world. So we're like, nobody does, yeah. People make money just yeah. doing this? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Want me to roll around on this floor? <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. so we just started having fun and just turning the camera on. That's yeah. that's literally what we yeah. did. And it just kind of grew from yeah. there, I would say. And I think we still haven't to this day, we haven't got used to it because it's like it's that why do people want to watch us? Like right. people really want to know what we're doing. Like right. we're just regular people. But we're the same ones that want to know what everybody else is doing. <laughs> exactly. Like, we're like, like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was gonna say, do people recognize you now when you're out? Yes, yes. <laughs> they do. We had we went to church on Sunday, and there was a few people, and this guy was like, "Hey, y'all are that funny couple." Yeah. They had traveled from Texas to come visit our church, and so it was like, "Oh yeah, 
you know, but it's just so weird. It's like, it's, it's weird. But, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because, uh, you know, I do lots of videos as well. And uh, it's always interesting the messages you get from people. Like, yes. do you get lots of messages? And I imagine, like, are people talking about just how I would think, how wonderful it is to just watch two people, especially during the pandemic, getting along and having as much fun as you were having, because a lot of people were not having fun <laughs> during the pandemic. So what have those messages been like? Oh gosh, they've been so amazing. And I think like that is our driving force, right? Because you get those messages that's like, I haven't laughed all week and you guys somehow have managed to make me laugh or, you know, my mother just passed and I've been down and depressed or, you know, it's those messages that honestly, like, I, I feel like I'm getting emotional talking about it, but it's just like, you never know the impact that you're having on somebody's life. And I'm like, if we can just, it's, it's so much going on in this world, but if we could shed a little light or make somebody laugh, like that is where we get our drive from and like our push to keep going because it's just it's it's inspiration yeah. laughter is good for the soul it's yeah. like medicine for the soul and for those people who, who are struggling or dealing with something and you can go into the internet and you can scroll and fall deeper into this hole of like ugh. Yeah. but to fall on ours and they're like literally laughing out loud it's like yeah. wow thank you yeah. i needed that and those are yeah. just those are the messages we just love like that's yeah. the inspiration wow. we want to have yeah. Well, as relationship champions and, uh, you know, I, I feel like during the pandemic, like if your relationship wasn't great going into the pandemic, it surely wasn't great coming out of it. I got divorced myself. I know a lot of people did. Um, but, you know, what what advice do you have for people like how inevitably everyone is going to have disagreements? Everyone's going to, yeah. you know, kind of have those moments. Like, are there things that you tell people that have helped you besides humor, obviously, which is mm -hmm. always great? Yeah. Yeah. I would say for us, our, our initial thing is our relationship with God. Like we personally have relationships with God and know that he is like the joy of the Lord is our strength. So that is kind of our foundation that's yeah. kind of the first and foremost where when things are going we need to go to him in prayer and things like that so that is going to be that first thing and from that it's like okay now i have to not be selfish like we are as individuals as human yeah. beings we are innately selfish the first thing we say yeah. as we kids is mine 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 like yeah. So, Cadero, here's bacon. <laughs> is it my bacon or is it our bacon? Yeah, exactly. I, and right now it's all my bacon. It's all your bacon, right? So I love it. So coming from that aspect, when you're dealing with troubles and having issues, a lot of times we we first go to, how does that affect me? Right. And I'm only looking at it from my perspective because this is hurting me. Um, instead of looking at the, the issue together and then me looking at it from her perspective, yeah. she looked at it from my perspective. And now we try to come together to then figure it out together. Um, a lot of times somebody's trying to make their decision on end, the, and then now we don't even disagree because you didn't involve me at all. Yeah. Um, so when you can now take an issue and try to bring it together um, and communicate effectively, and that takes okay. things like that and possibly therapy, different things like that. Those are the things we say, okay, that can be helpful. Um, and then like for us, we're always dating. We're always yeah. trying to learn each other. She has evolved from a, to a totally different woman than I married and, and that I met in 2005, I married in 2009. She's not that, that woman anymore. So yeah. I always have to be a student to be like, all right, who is she now? Let's, yeah. Let me take her out on a date and get to know this little lady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I took her out for the very first time. Come here, girl. I'm going to take, take you to dinner and see something. Yeah, who are you going to be tonight? What? Who? <laughs> who? <laughs> um, so here's what I also love about you. And I think we're the same. So I'm a comedian by trade. That's how I started and kind of got into social media. Um, and uh, my youngest, uh, We'll say she learns a little different. Um, and so that has been a, a, a journey for our whole family. Mm -hmm. And then going through the divorce and all of that. Um, when I was going through your Instagram last night, I saw that you had shared the journey with your daughter. Mm -hmm. And it was just so beautiful. And uh, I'm sure, again, that you must have gotten lots of messages about that. So many couples going through that. You know, what was that like to share? Because I know for me, because my channel is almost exclusively funny, putting things out there that are not funny was scary, but still important to me because I was like, 
like you're saying, like everything looks perfect, but you're like, yeah. even in a perfect situation, there are still life happens. And what was that journey like putting that out there and the feedback for that? Oh, I was so nervous. Like, if I'm honest, like I was so nervous. I was terrified. I was anxious, excited, like all of the feels. And I think it was a thing of because we used to get so many comments. When are you going to have kids? Or you guys just seem like y'all need kids right now. And I was like, OK, either we keep getting this or like we just kind of squash the noise and say, well, this is what we're going through. Yeah. And I never thought like in a million years that by us being so transparent um, with dealing with infertility for over 11 years, like there's so many people that goes through it, but never felt like they fully had the permission to talk about it or mm -hmm. felt like, you know, it was something you kept quiet in your home or didn't share. And the amount of messages that we got of this freed me or this just mm -hmm. like, made it okay to talk about like that is another reason of why we decided to share because we wanted to open the door and open up the conversations that this happens mm -hmm. and i mean especially like in our community we don't talk about stuff like that you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like okay if we can just share this and the amount of prayer requests that came in or you know the stories we get now of we dealt with it too but now we have a child and it's like so just amazing to hear those things but i was terrified i was nervous about putting out our pregnancy announcement because i was like god forbid something happened like we've put it out there now and you know all of those things we just thought about and considered but at the end of the day i knew that god gave us this platform for a reason and it's like don't dare keep us quiet or keep me quiet on my miracle that i've performed in you yeah so i was like okay well we've got to share it you know mm -hmm. whatever happens it's in god's hands but we knew that it was just a conversation that needed to happen and inspiration that needed to be displayed. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you realize you can be the only Bible or the only um, book that somebody opens. Like you can be that walking Bible for them or yeah. that, 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 that closeness to God that they like, I don't believe in this. I had all these troubles, this, but then I see this and all they're talking about this. So, Maybe I got it wrong, or maybe yeah. I just want to give it a try, or maybe I need to get more into it. And that's yeah. that's what is that you know, again that driving force is because we the, our testimony can help someone else. Yeah. Um, and like, and it's not one of those things where it was like boom, it just happened. It was like eleven years of struggle. Yeah. IUI, IVF, and then that's everybody true. sees the IVF and they're like, oh well, you know, usually those are the the. The thing that has yes, the success yeah. things. No, two rounds and nothing. We and and one took and then miscarriage. Like it was one of those things. Like wow, they went through it all, and then you see this story of this child that they had naturally. Mm. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, okay. It's that, a great story. It's a great yeah. story, and it's funny. So uh, sadly, uh, I lost my dad uh, probably two years oh, ago. Okay. And we're Catholic and we're Italian. We eat, we talk, we pray to Jesus, all the stuff. Yeah. And um, and it's so interesting because, again, we have our following here on Facebook. And again, everybody, we don't, you know, I talk about Jesus. I'm not trying to offend anybody. If right. you don't like it, uh, what do you do with what you'd like, right? Um, but during his journey, uh, he had cancer and um, we went on this, he wanted to do this pilgrimage to see this woman in, in Pittsburgh uh, who he was big into angels and he used to talk about angels all the time. And it was so interesting to me that even on a platform um, where you might not believe what I believe, there was just something really beautiful to mm -hmm. see him talk about his religion and his dedication to it and the angels. And um, it's just, like you said, uh, Kadero, it just was beautiful like yes. you just don't know where your inspiration comes from and maybe it doesn't take you all the way to a, a certain religion but maybe it just gives you the inspiration you need for that time of your life um, mm -hmm. so it is so on behalf of everybody that's going through whatever's on your plate or on my plate I think it's really wonderful that you guys can share humor and then share the journey of the things that aren't so great but um, but it is, it is just such a pleasure to meet you both. It's so great to see you not climbing a wall, but just sitting around and doing nothing to be just as regular great. life. What really happens yeah. most of the day. Uh, I do have a request from Shakendra. She said, Kadero, if you have any single brothers, just let her know. Shakendra is our favorite and we try to hook her up with random bus drivers or anybody that we can find a little handsome, a little funny. We're looking. Yeah. We're looking. We have a whole singles yeah. community here. Hey. So, 
You know. Right. If ever out in Tulsa, Oklahoma, let us know that my Transformation Church is full of some, some brothers that may be willing, you know? She's getting a bus ticket right now. She's like, where in Tulsa? Where exactly? I'm going to need an address. Is what she's saying right now. Yeah. yeah, look at her. She just wrote, yes. Yes. <laughs> You're about to meet Shikendra. So yeah. there it is. Love it. <laughs> That's thank so you. fun. Well, thank you both so much for joining us. This yes, has been such a treat. And uh, do yourself a favor. Let me make sure I have all your handles right. You can find them um, on Instagram at Everyday with HK. Their website is everydaywithhk.com. Um, and do you guys have any fun things on the horizon that you're working on? Any things that are coming up? We're 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 being very slow. Uh, I know when we first started out, we we hit the ground running, right? Now we're being more strategic um, with everything that's going on. But there are a lot of things in our discussions here at home that we're excited to okay. work on. Um, so it will be a lot of things within the next year or two that's that's happening. I was gonna say, based on the eyes that you just did to Darrow, I was like, oh, there's something going on. <laughs> I can't wait to follow along. Well, that's great. Well, thank you both so much. I look forward to seeing you both more on Instagram and following your journey. But thanks for being here. I know you've got lots of new fans here. So uh, we're happy to have you. Oh, Appreciate you. it. Appreciate you. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye.